Hello everyone, welcome to Bella's Crochet Gifts. I'm Bella. All right, so I have quite a few finished objects to show you today. So let's start with my socks. I finished, yay! And this is the first time I'm using my sock blockers. And I was so surprised that they actually fit. I was like, oh my gosh, my, my socks fit, yay! So this was a free pattern that I got off of the Mary Maxim website and it is called Dorm Socks. It is meant to be a sock pattern using worsted weight yarn. Uh, this yarn, I believe I showed it to you last time, was the was a Michaels discontinued yarn that was the baby rainbow, I think. So finished those yay all right so the next thing I finished I didn't even tell you guys about because I hadn't started previously but I made a hat this is knit and what I did was instead of doing like uh, ribbing I just cast on I think I cast on, ooh, I think I cast on somewhere right around 50 stitches. This is a bulky weight yarn. It is the um, Loops and Thread Barcelona Roving. And it says it is a super bulky six. It is 93% uh, acrylic and 7% polyester. It is 8.4 ounces and 223 yards. So I used one whole ball to make this. And a matching cowl. So I did the same thing. Um, I didn't actually count my stitches when I cast on for the cowl. I actually made the cowl first. And what I did was I basically was just knitting in the round. And then wherever you see these holes, this is a uh, yarn over and then a knit two together. And I did that for a whole row. And then I just knit until I felt like I want another one of those. So I did it again here and I did it again here and then I just cast off. So, mm, this yarn is very fluffy. Um, it doesn't have a lot of give to it. So I actually used, um, I believe it was a size 10, which is a 6.5 millimeter knitting needles. This one I used my wooden knitting needles with the, I think I showed it to you before or mentioned it before. Um, I bought some some tips from Chowgu and then I got the uh, interchangeable cord. So the cord was I think 22 and then the, the tips were the the 6.5 millimeter and then I used my 16 inch circular um, equivalents or the same size so it was a 16 and a 10 and 6.5 anyways so then I made the hat so I did have to break into my second skein just a little bit to finish it off and instead of doing like a uniformed decrease um, Pretty much I, when I got to here, this was my last row that I did of the yarn overs, and it, it does make a little tiny hole. See? Cute. Anyway, so uh, when I decided I was done uh, with the length, because I started at the bottom, I just started, I think I decreased every four, and then did a row and then I de decreased every three and did a row. And then I just cinched it at the bottom. Or 
the top of the hat. Anyway, so here we are. I think it turned out cute. I like the I like the set. Um, forgot to tell you the the colorway. This was sapphire blue. Let's see, and it actually recommended a lot larger uh, knitting needle size. Actually, it suggested a fifteen, which is a ten millimeter, but I did not do that. Or maybe that was just for the scarf. Regardless, I made a thing. Oh. That was for the pattern. So the uh, the yarn itself suggests a 9mm and a 9mm crochet hook for hook and needles. So there you go. Anyways, I like how it turned out. It's really fluffy. I haven't done a rolled edge um, hat or cowl yet, so yay! And it was just easy. There was no pattern. Like, pretty much I looked at a few patterns. I was like, I think I know what's going on there. I'm, I'm just going to try it. So, yay, I finished. And then the next thing I have, let's go with this one. So this was a lingering whip from last, last year, actually. I had started making squares and I didn't like how they looked. And then I tried blocking the squares and it didn't turn out very good either. So this will just be a donation blanket. I'm not even going to worry about it. So this is the, uh, Sonoma baby blanket. It was a free pattern and I will link in the description down below. But I actually had every block already made except for one. I had to make one additional block and it's possible it's floating around somewhere and I just never found it. But I had enough to do the entire blanket. I hope that looked okay. <laughs> I don't know. I was behind the blanket. Anyways, so this was a fun pattern. Um, my only complaint is the block sizes didn't quite match up. So basically I, on the back, I single crocheted them together. It did make a, a ridge, but the reason I did single crochet instead of a slip stitch is I carried my yarn up the side when I changed colors instead of cutting for each one and then weaving in the ends. Did not feel like doing that. So I did the single crochets to to cover up the the strings between each of the each of the color changes. And then <laughs> there's a funny story actually. So I made these in for four blocks. So I had put this kind this four blocks together and then I put this four blocks together and then I put this four blocks together. Well, <laughs> and then I just kept turning which direction I needed it. When I got to this end of the blanket, <laughs> uh, because it is four blocks by three blocks, I couldn't do that here. <laughs> I had to take one whole block apart so that I could get the it to stay in 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 the block shape or like the the block pattern <laughs> because this center one is one whole block but no matter how I turned it because you know it's four blocks and I did the same thing on every single block it, it wasn't going to match up I was going to have like a double double this way or double this way <laughs> They were going to meet up. So I took, uh, I had to unconnect, you know, those four 
for uh, blocks in order to put two on this side and two on this side. Oh, that was an adventure. Especially because the last blocks I left to the end were the ones I tried to steam. <laughs> oh, so it like it worked out, but I was just like, what was I thinking? <laughs> oh, well, anyways, it's done. And I just put a, um, a single crochet around, like just a single crochet border around in the, the lighter blue, just to make everything, you know, feel uniform. And then also to cover up where my edges, like where my, the edge of my, uh, Wow, words. Okay, where I had the single crochets and I wanted to make sure that it it looked nice on the, the front side. So that's what I did. Anyway, so I finished it. Um, like I said, I had made all the blocks that I pretty much needed except for like one of these squares. So, yay, I'm done. Add that to my pile. All right. So the last blanket I finished is the, um, the one I showed you before. It is the crochet one skein throw. And I ended up getting a second skein. I could have been fine with one skein. It was a, a fine size, but I wanted it to fit on a bed and not just be pretty much a square. So... You know what? I'm going to insert a picture so you know what it's supposed to look like. And then I will show you it. Oops. I dropped something. So I will show it to you finished up close. So it turned out really gorgeous. And so, um, when I finished it, let's see, I'll show you the front. What I decided to do is I carried this, the pattern along the side. So like I said, it was a two row repeat. So I did the, the chain row down the side and then I did the, um, triple crochet, uh, pattern over top of it and I just did one whole row all the way around the blanket and then on the corners I just kind of fudged it because it it didn't work out right <laughs> I, w I think I would have had to do an additional row for it to work out so we have a, ch a, bu a bunch of fives here and then some fives here <laughs> but no one's gonna look at it that closely it turned out really nice it's it's a good size I feel like It'll fit on a bed just fine because it's, you know, longer like there. Anyways, so I finished three whips, two old whips, which I'm really happy about, and then one newish whip, and then I felt like knitting. And I just realized everything I showed you was blue. <laughs> I might have to tag this like blue something. I don't know. Blue adventures or gay blue yard. <laughs> All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed seeing some of my finished objects. I sure enjoyed showing them to you. Um, let's see. Do I have anything else? I started a new, a new, I guess it's a cardigan. Um, I started it in the, the funnel cakes. The funnel cakes are interesting to work with. It, oh, excuse me, I have some fiber. Okay, um, so the funnel cakes are, are fine to work with. It's not as smooth as if you were working with acrylic, obviously 
because I believe it's like half or so cotton acrylic but it's not the the stiffness you get when you're working with just straight 100% cotton that's not a nice cotton you know like a kitchen cotton so there's a teeny bit of drag on the hook which after crocheting for a while I'll notice it a little bit in my elbow like it'll just start to ache a little bit and like I don't know it's making my hands hurt a little bit like I noticed the next day after working on the project that my hands were a little bit more sore than than they do when I just work with straight acrylic but it's gonna be nice I'm excited to see how it turns out um, I found another another pattern I was planning on doing the the Tammy sweater from Krista from the secret yarnery but I decided I wanted that one to be acrylic um, just the way that it that it was made and how I think it's gonna be a little like slouchier I kind of wanted it to be acrylic and I wanted the funnel cake to be a little bit more fitted so I decided to go with a more fitted uh, cardigan for that one and I I'm about mm, that far into it so I'll have more work done of that soon and I will show you guys but I did start an amigurumi I'm not going to tell you what it is because it is for a make along and I want it to be a surprise but I'll be showing you that soon and then other than that I don't think I have any other whips that I really wanted to get done this month but if I find one <laughs> I will hopefully work on it because this is the month that I wanted to get some whips done. So mission mostly accomplished, maybe a little more accomplished later. We'll see. <laughs> all right. Thank you guys all for coming and, you know, spending some time with me. I hope your day is wonderful and I will see you next time. Bye.